Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create this revolving world effect in After Effects. So I've created this design here in Illustrator. We have a background, we have this kind of uh, globe world, and then we have these little houses in this uh, design. So um, what I want to do is create an effect where this uh, this city scene, like all this stuff, is kind of revolving from left to right, like kind of like this world is one really big globe, and it's turning around and these uh, settings come into the screen. So we're going to switch over to After Effects here, and here you can see what's happening. So you can see that this world here comes in from the right side and it kind of curves in uh, perfectly uh, along the, the curvature of this globe here, of this circle. And as you can see, it turns, goes out again and a new one pops in. And that's how you get this effect. So I'm going to show you how I created this effect that it's revolving in and out. So I'm going to duplicate this comp here and then just delete all of these nulls just to get a, get a clean um, clean scene. Here we go, background, world. So here we are in a clean composition. We have the background, we have all of the houses and all of the stuff, and we have the world itself. And this is just an illustrator shape with this shape. What I'm going to do first is recreate this globe layer kind of. I'm going to zoom out here a whole lot. And then go to my uh, shape tool and go to the ellipse tool and just zoom in here and for the fill let's get this purple color and for the stroke let's make it black and i'm going to zoom out here a whole lot and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a very big circle like this uh, which has the same curvature as this one kind of so we're going to zoom out and maybe and then hit the tilde key while hovering here to make it full screen so i can see it a bit better because we need to make a really Big one, maybe something like this. Let's see how I did. It's almost perfect. Nice. All right. So we have almost a perfect uh, uh, circle shape. So we get this kind of the same curvature. We're going to put the anchor point in the middle here because it's a little bit off. So we're going to uh, your pen behind tool, turn on snapping, and then in the middle there like that. Turn off snapping. So now we have this shape, and then we're going to place it in the middle of the uh, screen. You can also do that with snapping, but I'm going to use um, the align tool here. Click, and then this one. No, not this one. Only in the middle of the screen, uh, horizontally. So now we have this shape. So what I can do now is parent all of these. Oh, first off, let's delete the original world shape here and this uh, shape one layer. This is a little bit too thick of a line, so let's dial it back to uh, two. Yeah, nice. So now it looks good in the design. And I'm going to uh, call this world. And I'm going to parent all of the uh, elements to that world. So background, lock that. So if I go to the world now, and if I go to pre press R on my keyboard, uh, W, sorry, W, for the rotation tool, I can rotate it, and everything rotates right along with it. So that's the basic effect, because the uh, rotation point is over here. So this thing... So you can see that the houses are uh, turning all the way around this world. But I want these houses to kind of move individually, so it lo looks a bit more uh, special. Um, so what I'm going to do here is create a new null layer. So select layer, new null object. It's just an empty object, doesn't do anything, it's just meant to control stuff. And I'm going to kind of zoom out again here again and then paste that over there or place it there and then switch to the middle. And if I select my null layer here, scale it up a bit. And I want this to be in the, I want this anchor point of this null layer to be in the middle of this one, exactly. So if I do that, open this up. If I, I can do that by um, holding shift and then pick, uh, selecting the pick whip and then dragging it to the world and then it will automatically go right into the middle of that um, shape. So now the null layer is exactly the anchor point of it on the middle of this world here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up. Where am I? Yeah, here we are. And if I'm going to put it at fit, and then I'm going to rename this null to rotation one. I'm going to duplicate this a bunch of times because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven houses here with a little bush also. But I'm going to duplicate rotation so six times. So pressing command D, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have seven ones, seven rotation uh, nulls. And then I'm going to parent all of them to each null. So house back left, parent that to rotation one. 
And then the second one from the left is this one, parent that to the next one, rotation two. This one to rotation three. This one to rotation four. So now they all have their own their own null, which is controlling them. Rotation five. And then this one, rotation six. And then the last one, rotation seven. You can also go here and then click on rotation seven. And the bush, let's just do that somewhere in the middle, rotation uh, four. So now all of these nulls are controlling controlling these different um, layers here, the, sh the shape. So if I press R on my keyboard to open the rotation, if I click and drag, they all rotate exactly the same as they would as I would rotate the world before. But I'm going to create a keyframe here. So um, first, let's drag them out of the screen, click on the stopwatch, and then we're going to go here and then put it back to zero. So it's in the screen. So now we have this basic rotation into the screen. Then I'm going to give them some nice easing. So select all of them. And I'm, you can do that by going to easy ease and then in the graph editor change this, but I'm going to use my plugin, uh, this plugin flow, which makes it a whole lot easier. So now we have this nice curve here. So now it moves a little bit nicer, maybe a bit too fast. So I'm going to actually make this a bit longer and then you do it again. So it's a little less snappy. Okay, cut these layers off here for Nice view overview, and then I'm going to reposition all of these layers. So I'm going to close up the keyframes, and then I'm going to zoom in here and just um, replace every or um, place every null layer one frame after each other. So that means that the rotation effect now of the, all of these comes one frame after each other. So that's why we create we get this effect. So they just move right after each other, and they're all still rotating from the middle of the screen here. So that's there the null is turning around. Uh, just one frame uh, with one frame of offset. So we get this nice effect. And if I want to do the same here, I'm going to click on rotation, go here, and then I want us to turn the other way here. Give that the same easing. So now they're all going at the same time. But if I want this one to go first, I just have to um, zoom in here. Re place or, or we uh, shift all of these keyframes here. Do that quickly. Nice. So I know I have this effect, so it's going out again. And then I, if I duplicate all of these, as I did in my first composition here, I duplicated all of these layers. So this is the first one. I just duplicated these houses uh, again and then parented, parented those again to these different nulls. And then they are here they are. So here we have the second batch and you can maybe, you know, change the color, change, create something different. So we get a revolving world with all of these different cities or buildings or whatever you want. So, um, yeah, that's a really nice way of creating this revolving world effect. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. If you want to download the project files for this video, follow me on Patreon where you can uh, support me and, and download them. Uh, thank you very much. See you there. See you next time. Ciao.